Hi everyone, I want to do a quick part two to that reading that I just did because I actually channeled some more details, um, just a couple more after I put that reading out. So the reading I just put up was, I was basically picking up on this energy of a very evil woman. Now, if you're, if you have an ex or a mother or, or some kind of relative who's, you know, damaged, but they're a good person deep down, um, maybe just has some anger issues or traumas, this is probably not your reading. The energy I got was a very evil woman, very narcissistic, somebody who um, wants to hurt other people the way that she has been hurt in the past. She wants to drag other people down, somebody who likes to see other people in pain. Um, they kind of, they, they want that control over others, basically. That's the energy I was getting. Somebody that probably has a lot of demons around them as well. Um, somebody who, I, I did get the energy of somebody like going through something really traumatic uh, when they were younger and it's almost like they just want, it's almost like they think it's justice, like they just want to hurt other people like they've been hurt now, you know what I mean? Like they want to cause that pain. But at this point, I feel like even if this woman was a good person like a decade or, or more ago, whoever she is, I don't feel like there's any good left in her at this point, to be honest. I don't usually say things like that, but that's just the energy I feel off this for this energy group, that this woman is very, very evil. I, I honestly even got um, potential pedophilia in that video. Like, it's pretty heavy energy. Um, you know, like you guys know that follow me, this isn't really like a love and light and positive vibes only channel. Like, I try to do happier love readings, but, you know, the energy is what it is. Sometimes you guys do need warnings so that you can protect yourself. You know what I mean? There's There's a balance of light and dark on this channel. It's like... You know, sometimes you guys really do need those warnings so that you are aware of the energies and you can clear the energy. But um, I'm just going to recap on that really quick and then I'm going to go into the, the other details that I channeled. Because I actually did get a positive message from this that I wanted to add in here. But uh, yeah, I, I got that she's... I got that she's spying or stalking and she's trying to, she could be driving by. If you're in this energy group dealing with this very evil woman, um, I feel like she's trying to, it's like she's either driving by your house or she's like spying on your social media. Like she's got like fake accounts that she's making or she's having her friends spy on your social media. She might have like, for some, she might have friends that are kind of similar to her, like kind of like a mean girl posse kind of energy is what I was picking up. Um, I was getting in that reading too. Like it is, it will be stressful for you to deal with this, but it's honestly going to be a really positive thing when you do deal with this. Like it's going to, you're going to feel a sense of freedom because if you are in this energy group, intuitively you've been feeling like a, like a tense energy. Like you've been feeling like, um, Maybe like you haven't been feeling safe or you've been feeling like you're being watched or you just feel like you just feel almost like this evil presence around you from this woman's demons or something like that. Like you just feel, I don't know, like something intuitively, something feels like wrong and it's been feeling like that for a long time, most likely if you're in this energy group. And so even though it's stressful, I feel like when you clear this energy, like when you, because I did get black magic for some, for some you need to, um, you need to really just clear that energy out. Um, but when you clear this, like when you block these people or when you just protect yourself, like you're going to feel, it'll be stressful in the moment, but you're going to feel so much happier and so much lighter. Like you're just going to feel a lot better because you're going to feel like the sense of freedom or like, wow, I finally figured it out. Like I couldn't put my finger on like why I was feeling that way, why I was feeling that tension and that fear. It was like your intuition was like screaming at you and you could tell you might, you probably didn't know what your intuition was saying, but you're like, no, I know something like feels weird here. Like something like I, I don't, my body feels tight. I don't feel safe. So you're going to, you're going to feel so much better. You're honestly, once you like deal with this, you know, it's kind of bumpy at first, a little stressful, but it's, it's gonna, it's going to clear up before you know it once you take care of it. And you're going to really start just feeling like things are going to open up for you. You know, this woman might've been blocking abundance in your life as well. <clears throat> this could even just be like a past energy that you need to clear you know what I mean but for the majority of it I feel like this person's like a like she's spying or stalking somehow or she's still in your energy field somehow you know what I mean like it's it's yeah but again only take this if, if you if you're not dealing with somebody that's evil if you're dealing if you're dealing with somebody that's just kind of you know maybe a little toxic or whatever a little angry this is this not your reading this is 
this is a very a very bad woman a very um yeah very very bad woman uh anyway let's get into it oh i did get that for a lot of you she does want to separate you from someone so i was getting that energy in in the in the video that like a lot of you know who the person that you want to marry is and you're a lot of the men in this energy group are already living with that person or you're already like you've already proposed to them or you're thinking about proposing i was seeing like a honeymoon like going somewhere and proposing um, and she might not, she might know about it. Like if you're engaged and you, you might think that your social media is private, but she actually knows that you're engaged or she knows that you're like, with, like she sees, she, she's having, she's finding a way to get information about what you're posting on social media is what I was getting. For those of you that are in this energy group, most likely. Or she's finding a way, if you're not on social media, she's finding a way to like get information about you. Um, and I just wanted to say, okay, so the, the message I got. So yesterday I was getting that there might be like a mutual friend or a, um, could be multiple people actually that are giving this woman information. Cause she's, she's very manipulative. So she kind of has that effect on people where she can like manipulate, very shallow, very manipulative. She can manipulate them to give her information. And I was getting this energy where I feel like one of your mutual friends or a family member could be giving her information about you. And I just wanted to add that I actually got that this friend or family member might be naive. They might be kind of innocent because in the, in the other video, I was like, you know, I, 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 I channeled this later. I think they wanted me to do a separate video on this, I guess. But for some, you, you got to use discernment because I just wanted to put that out there before you go and like, you know, block everybody or, or just assume the worst about people. Cause I did get somebody that was kind of just naive. Like, so if this is a family member, I feel like what I was channeling is I feel like if this is like a family member or somebody that you are very close to, like somebody that supported you in the past, or they tried to support you in a way of like where they could get something out of you. I feel like this woman is going to like relatives or going to, you know, mutual friends. And she's trying to pretend to be concerned about you. Like if you're like kind of cutting, if you're like kind of distancing from her, like maybe she's not able to get in your energy field. Maybe some of you are really stepping into your spiritual power intuitively. You're, you're, you're protecting yourself more. You're being more mindful of your energy and who you allow into your life. Um, so if she's someone that feels like she would just almost like a sense of entitlement, like she feels like she would just have a right to know what's going on with you, like a mother or like a sister or like somebody that you were friends with for years and years, I feel like she's going to these mutual friends, mutual family members, maybe just one in particular too, that's kind of innocent and naive, could even be using a child to get information for some, sadly, but, um, but yeah, I just, I see her pretending to be concerned, pretending, you know, like, oh, like I, you know, I'm worried he's, uh, I'm worried he's doing drugs or I'm worried that, you know, he's, you know, he's been distant lately or I'm worried he's, you know, going through something or I'm worried about this and that, you know, how, how is everything with him? Uh, what's going on with him? So it, it's like, she's trying to get information. But, and she might, she might care to an extent. I mean, even, she's pretty evil though. I don't know. I don't know if this woman's really capable of love, but she might care in, you know, whatever capacity she can, but, but it's mostly because she wants details. She wants information. She might, she might see an energy shift in this man and she's like, she wants to, um, for some, they're like doing black magic or they're like paying someone to do black magic or they're doing like a. Like they're just doing something like off here. Like they're, they're, they're not, they don't want the information for the right reasons is basically what I'm saying. You know, they want control and they, they, this person panics when they don't have control over other people. And so since the control has been taken away from her, she's kind of panicking and she's like, well, if he's not going to tell me what's going on with him, I'm going to go to this person or this person and I'm going to find out, you know, and if she hears something she doesn't like, like she's going to like she's going to try to do, um, you know, cause I kept getting like black magic or something. Like she, there was, there was a an energy in that reading where it was like, 
this man knows who he loves or he's he's with someone or he knows who he wants to be with and she doesn't like it because there's jealousy for one thing like she she doesn't um she's kind of has like this why her and not me energy and kind of like a she doesn't like this woman because she's everything that she can't be so this 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 woman is is more gentle and loving and empathetic um, and she's someone that, you know, inspires people to grow and heal. Whereas this evil woman is kind of the opposite. She, she doesn't want to see anybody grow. She does not want to see people heal. She wants people to, to be in pain like her. She just, she wants the worst for people. She wants to drag people down. Um, she, I'm almost getting like, she wants to hurt the innocent almost too. Like she wants, if she was hurt when she was innocent, it's like, she wants to do that to others. Just a, just a very sick, very evil woman. Um, so she, she doesn't like this other, she doesn't like other, this other woman because she's like everything that she can't be, you know, she's everything. She holds this energy that this other woman just can't hold basically. And, um, and she could just not like other women in general because she wants control over this man. So it's like, it doesn't matter who the woman is. She just doesn't, if anything's taking her attention away, she doesn't like that. She wants, she wants all his attention, his energy, like psychic vampire type energy. So there was that warning. Um, for others, I feel like this could be like, especially if this is like an ex of yours, like an ex lover or somebody, I feel like this is a, um, a friend of yours where she might be, she's, she's strategizing. This one's very, very manipulative. So she's, she's strategizing. She's plotting something here. She, she doesn't, you might've blocked this woman or something and she doesn't like that. She doesn't have that control over you anymore. It's almost like, I almost get like an angry energy where she doesn't like that. She, uh, or you might've blocked her energetically. Like you might've just been like, Oh, I know what this woman's doing. I'm, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this, you know, like you saw her true colors at some point, like you saw how evil she is. You saw like, you almost like got a sense of like the demons that are on her and around her, you know, and you kind of started realizing that this woman does not want you to grow. She doesn't want you to be your best self. She wants you to, to kind of stay in the dark and be easily manipulated, easily controlled, easily abused. Um, but yeah, for some, I, I got this energy where, and I'm channeling, you know, I primarily channel the cards help a lot, but this is all, you know, information that I picked up from this. So when I, when I do this, when I do readings where I'm not pulling cards, like I'm still, it's not just me bab babbling on and on. Like this is information that I'm, it, it's the same as a card reading pretty much. You know what I mean? Like it is, it is channeled. It is from, you know, I am psychically in tune right now as I channel. So anyway, for others, I feel like this is like a friend or someone else that she's manipulating. Like, especially if this is like an ex-lover of yours, it's going to be different for everybody. But again, you're probably only in that energy group if you're dealing with somebody who's like actually like very dark, very evil. Um, but for others, I feel like she's 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 plotting something. So she's going to someone you're friends with and she's casually talking about you. I'm hearing firefighter. So one of you might be like a firefighter, I'm feeling. But she, she's bringing it up in like a really casual way. Cause I feel like she, um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, sorry. I'm just, like I said, I'm channeling. So sometimes I get like visuals or I just get information or I'll get certain feelings. And I kind of know that that's like psychic information coming through. So I'm sorting through what I'm, you know, sometimes I have to take a minute to sort through what I get. Um, she's going to try to bring you up in like a very casual way. Like she's not, cause she doesn't want to, she's smart. She's, you know, she doesn't want to raise any red flags so she's probably going to go to this mutual friend and she's going to just, they're going to talk about something else. And then she's going to, maybe she's going to like bring up like your line of work. Like if you're like a firefighter or something, or she's just going to bring up something, maybe like even like make up like a random story, but like nothing like super dramatic, just like an entertaining story or something. Like she's just going to, she's going to strategize and think of a way to make the conversation naturally lead to you. So she's, she's not going to let this person, this mutual friend, like know that you guys are on bad terms. Um, she's just probably going to tell them like, oh yeah, like 
you know, speaking of firefighters or speaking of speaking of this or speaking of that, like, how is you know, how is my, how is my ex doing? Or how is like, oh, I haven't talked to him in a while. How is, how are things with him? And then this kind of, this friend might be kind of naive, kind of innocent and be like, oh, you know, he just got engaged or, oh, he's, he's, you know, he's been with this new woman for, you know, the past six or seven months or, or, um, I keep hearing like, like he's going somewhere, like he's going like a, like, like on a vacation somewhere, like, uh, like out of state or country or something like that. But, you know, she's going to use this person to get that information. And she's strategizing. And so I just want to put that out there because, you know, for some, I don't want you guys, like, if you are in this energy group with very, you know, dealing with this kind of person, you know, don't go cutting out a, a mutual friend that might actually just be another victim of hers. You know, really use discernment, do some digging to find out if this mutual friend is is really just on her side because for some it might be that case it might be that this mutual friend really is just part of her kind of mean girl posse where you know this mutual friend might actually be reporting back to her um but for for others i really feel like this mutual friend is just innocent she this mutual friend might not know that they're being used for information or it could even be a child that's being used for information this woman is she she doesn't she she's not the type of person that would have any problem manipulating a child to be honest sadly um because i kept seeing that scene from i don't know if any of you guys have watched once upon a time where i i saw that scene where regina's um mother like regina was about to like run away with daniel right like she was about to uh like they were about to have like this new start together because her mother wouldn't allow it her mother wanted to control her and her mother wanted her to um to, you know, stay focused on her studies and, and be like, just like her pretty much. And so she manipulates, you know, young Snow White into thinking that she's just concerned about Regina and she's just worried about her. And then that's when, you know, Snow White goes and talks to Regina and she comes back and tells her mother about, you know, Daniel, about their plan to run off together. Um, and so it's like that kind of evil energy where it's like this woman does not, for some, like I said, she's actually manipulating a child or she's manipulating somebody that might be childlike or innocent, just somebody that's very naive to her. So anyway, I just want to put that out there. Um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your comments too, if this is resonating. Like I know these readings have been kind of heavy lately. So even just leaving a heart comment really helps. Thank you guys.